Hello students, it's Mrs. O, and this presentation is going to cover what we're going to be talking about for the next few weeks in class, which is computer-aided design, also known as CAD. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss what is CAD, and I'm going to show you how to sign into our class account in a CAD software known as Tinkercad. First of all, follow my advice. View this entire presentation. As soon as I start talking about Tinkercad, avoid the temptation to flip your screen and log into Tinkercad right away. Wait until you've heard the entire presentation and then you're going to log into Tinkercad. Right? And that's going to save a lot of confusion and trouble Okay, if you flip from one screen to the other. Stick with this PowerPoint until the end. All right, so first of all, why learn about CAD software? Well, it is how a lot of designs are first created. Okay, environments and characters in movies, as well as everyday objects are first created using 3D modeling. It's also called solid modeling. So things such as space rovers, furniture, and electronic devices are typically designed first with a CAD or solid modeling application. Okay, and here are some examples of some screens that we will see when we start working in Tinkercad. All right, so first of all, the name Tinkercad. What does it mean to tinker? Well, it means to work with something in an unskilled or experimental manner, to fiddle around with something, kind of like a hobby. That's a lot of fun. So we're going to tinker around with CAD software. But you know what happens when you tinker with something in an unskilled or experimental manner for a while. Yes, you end up becoming skilled. All right, so CAD, Computer Aided Design. Okay, we're going to be using Tinkercad, which is designed by Autodesk. Okay, and this is the screen that you will see when you log in. Okay, I'm going to give you a link. Don't worry about looking at it here. Okay, I'm going to post it to you in an email. Okay, and you can see it here. It is the Tinkercad.com site with join class and this is the code for our particular class 6KLEEY18LGWM. Now you don't have to worry about memorizing that because you're just going to be able to click on the link and it will take you there after you view this entire presentation. All right. So you could also get there for www.tinkercad.com and join our class, but it's easier if you just follow that link that I provided for you. All right, now it's going to ask you for your nickname. Your nickname is your last name, comma, first name, and the number one. So when it asks for your nickname, you will type your last name, comma, your first name, and then the number one all lowercase and no spaces in between. So if my name was Mickey Mouse, I would enter my name as Mouse, comma, Mickey One. Buzz Lightyear would enter his name as Lightyear, lowercase, comma, Buzz One. Use your name as it appears in PowerSchool. So if you have a shortened name that you go by, okay, it won't accept it because I entered all of your names in our class the way it appears in PowerSchool. All right, so your first assignment in Tinkercad. First, you're going to view this entire slide presentation. Congratulations, you almost have that part done. You're going to watch a video that I'm posting. Um, I will post the link to it and send you uh, that link in an email. Then you will follow the instructions that I just provided to you in the previous slides to sign in to Tinkercad. And then you're going to start tinkering around with the tools. And you will complete these steps by January 7th. All right, so this is the video. I'm not going to play it, but I want you to know that this is part of your assignment is to view this video. Okay, which is um, a YouTube video. And again, I will post that for you. All right, good 